to begin our city skyline reflection, we first need to divide our paper in half horizontally and paint a warm sky and a cool water at the bottom. So I'm going to take my 12 by 18 larger paper, write my name on the back, and then I want to fold it in half, uh, hot dog style. So I'm going to line up my two corners. It's a little tricky because it's such a long paper. So line up my two corners and then when we fold we always want to press from the middle and then go outward. And if this isn't perfectly centered, not a huge deal. Okay, then I'm going to flip it over. If you would like, you can just kind of lightly trace that fold so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, and then we're going to paint the sky and paint the water. So for our sky, we want to stick to our warm colors. So remember, that's the first three in the rainbow. So you can use these as well as these. And for our water, we want to use our cool colors, which is the second half of the rainbow. So these and these. And I'm going to do horizontal brush strokes. So it sort of looks like a sunrise in the sky and then waves in the water. So I'm just going to start by picking a warm color. So I've got red and painting horizontal stripes kind of randomly. And you can do this how you want. This is just one way to do it. And make sure you also, when you get close to that fold, you don't want to go under your, your middle line. So slow down a little bit when you get near the fold like that. Okay, wash my brush. And then I'm just going to keep adding in my other warm colors and blending them until I'm happy with it. Okay, why don't we skip ahead? All right, and now that my sky is all painted, I'm going to scoop my paper up and do the same thing on the bottom with cool colors for my water. And notice, I'm cleaning my brush really well in between colors so that my paint stay nice and clean for me and for my friends that are sharing my paint with me. Okay, so I'm gonna start with blue here and then I can use a little bit of green and purple, blend them all together with horizontal brush strokes. Alright, and let's skip ahead again. Okay, so once you've got your warm sky and cool water painted, and you've had them meet at the middle line so that there's no white left on the paper, we're going to put this on the drying rack with two hands and move on to working on our city design. For the city skyline portion of this project, uh, you will be using a 4x6 piece of paper to sketch out your city. And then eventually we'll transfer that onto some styrofoam, which we can use for printmaking. So I'm going to put the styrofoam aside for a minute. So you're going to get your piece of paper, name on the back of here. And you can design your buildings kind of how you want, but the big thing is we want no space in between them so that when we eventually cut it out of our styrofoam, it's all one piece. So if you're not sure where to start, I would start with a horizontal line and then a vertical line to start with just a rectangular shaped building. Then decide do you want your next building to be t shorter or taller. If you want it taller then you're just going to continue that line and work your way across. And you can always add different rooftops later or do it now. So the rest is up to you. How you want to do your windows and you're just sketching it out lightly. Okay, once my basic building shapes are in, again, I can add lots of um, details in pencil. So why don't we skip ahead to when I'm done with pencil. Okay, so here's my new um, cityscape design in pencil on my paper. So now I'm ready to get my foam 
and I want to very gently write my name on the back of here because um, I don't want it to go through. And then I'm going to put my paper on top of my styrofoam, line it up into the same size, and I'm going to tape them together so that it doesn't move. And I'm just going to now, with the styrofoam underneath, take my pencil and trace over all of my lines. You just need like medium pressure. You don't have to press super hard. And that is going to press my design into the styrofoam underneath. So I'm going to do all this in pencil. And we'll skip ahead. Now that I've traced over all of my design with pencil and pressed it into the styrofoam plate like that, I can remove my paper. And before I cut out my design, I'm gonna just press into it one more time with a pen to make sure those designs are really pressed in. So when I go to print them, it'll show up really well on my paper. Now on some of these windows, you might choose to actually press with your pen and color them in. If you do that, those windows will stay white while the rest of the building will be black when I do my printing. Maybe I'll do sort of a checkerboard pattern on these windows so you can see how that turns out when I do my printing. And my last step before printing is to just cut off the top edge of my styrofoam. Remember, you really want to keep all of the buildings together. So I'm only cutting off this white part along the top edge of my city. So I'm going to throw these away and then let's take a look at how to do the printing. Okay, so for our printing we're going to take some black printing ink and I'm just going to put sort of a thin stripe of it down and I'm then going to take my brayer which is kind of like a mini paint roller if you've ever painted walls at home and it's made of rubber and I'm going to try to just coat my brayer with the black ink. Then I'm going to put down my styrofoam plate and then just roll that ink onto here. I'm going to give it a good coating. Okay. And then I'm going to take my background I created. And I'm starting all the way on that left edge right here. And I'm going to pick up my plate, clip it, and then I'm just going to line it up on my horizon line here on the sky side. And don't worry if it's not perfect. I just want to kind of give that a good press. And then I'm just going to peel it up to see my print. Um, then, to make it look like a reflection on the water that's a little bit less um, bold, a little bit more blurry, I'm going to flip it over and just gently get some of that black, but it's going to be a lot more faded, so it looks more like a reflection. And I'm just going to keep doing this two more times across until I fill up my skyline. So I'm going to add more black and do this two more times. Okay, and here is my finished skyline reflection. I am going to now take my printing plate and I'm going to rinse it in the sink to get a lot of the ink off and I'm going to put my printing plate and my painting on the drying rack. 